<laughs> Hello, my name is Linda and I go to a church in Truro and today I want to talk to you about words and your heart. You know, words can be really powerful, can't they? Some words can encourage you. Some words show how much somebody loves you. Some words bring great joy. Some words are really good fun. The words are just so powerful. But also sometimes words can really hurt you and upset you and make you feel really, really sad. You know, I was thinking about this and I was wondering as I was driving into work this morning, when was the last time that I said some words that made somebody smile? Maybe something like, thank you, or hello, or you look really nice, or thank you for those beautiful flowers that you bought me, or thank you for sharing your toys, or really lovely words that can make people feel really happy and, and good inside. I wonder, when was the last time you used some words to make somebody smile? Then I thought, I wonder, when was the last time I used a word that made somebody feel really sad, really unhappy, that hurt them on the inside, that gave them that ache on the inside that makes you feel really, really sad and uncomfortable and just, oh, I wonder, when was the last time you used a word that made somebody feel like that? You know, Linda's a Christian and she loves the stories in her Bibles. Now, you might have seen these Bibles before. This one has got all the stories in that we sometimes use with all the pictures. There we go. And I know some of you have heard quite a lot of these stories. And then we have this Bible as well that's mainly a bit more words. But whatever Bible you use, whatever Bible you look at, it has the same stories in about Jesus. And I just want to share with you very quickly a story about Jesus. And he was using his words and he used them very powerfully. Right, we're on the Sea of Galilee now. The Sea of Galilee is a long way away. We'd have to get on an aeroplane if we could to, to visit the Sea of Galilee. And the Sea of Galilee is about eight miles wide, okay? It's a bit like a very big lake, okay? And they can get lots of storms on the Sea of Galilee. And one day Jesus was in a boat, a bit like this, but a lot bigger, with his friends. And they had a really busy day. Jesus had been really busy and they were going from one side of the Sea of Galilee over to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. And Jesus actually fell asleep, he fell asleep in the boat. And his friends were just sitting there and chatting and talking about their day and all the amazing things that they'd seen Jesus do and the wonderful words that Jesus spoke. When suddenly the sea started to get really rough and the wind was blowing and they were all rocking and rolling around in this boat and they were going forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and they were actually getting really quite scared. They were really, really scared and then they looked for Jesus. Where was Jesus? He could help them. But Jesus was still fast asleep in the boat and all of Jesus' friends were going, help, we're really frightened, this storm is really scary, we're not going to make it, what are we going to do? And Jesus is asleep. And then they shouted at Jesus, said, Jesus, can't you help us? And Jesus woke up and this amazing thing happened. Jesus used his words, his powerful words, and he said, wind and waves, stop. And they did. Jesus' words were so, so powerful that he could speak to the wind and the waves, and they stopped. And I should think all of his friends just went, Phew, how did that happen? But we're so pleased it did. That was a really powerful story about Jesus and how he used his words to say stop and the storm and the winds just stopped. You know, I wonder, where do our words come from? How do we choose our words? Well, actually, Jesus was talking to his friends again one day and he says your words come from your heart. What's in your heart is what comes out of your mouth. So in the Bible, the word heart is mentioned over 800 times. Our heart is really important to the God of the Bible. You know, what's in here is what comes out here. And I was thinking about that. I was thinking it's just a bit like a hot water bottle. If you put cold water into this hot water bottle, it's not going to keep Linda very warm, is it? In fact, it's not going to be very good at all. In fact, I'll probably moan about it quite a lot. But if I put hot water 
into this hot water bottle and maybe I've got a tummy ache or something and I cuddle this hot water bottle it's the hot that's coming out it's that's what's going to keep me warm the hot water bottle is doing what's on the inside is what coming out on the out is what's coming out on the outside and that's exactly what our words are like what's in our heart is what comes out of our mouth and I've got another story that I'd really like to share with you some of you might know this story already so our words and our hearts are joined together and uh, I'd like to read you this little book by Kate Neal it's called words and your heart this little book is about your heart the little bit inside you that makes you you will you listen really carefully because it's really important. And it might help you be a happier you and the people around you be a happier them. You see, the words that go into your ears can actually affect your heart. The little bit inside you that makes you, you. Your words can do amazing things. They can describe things if they are big or if they're little. They can explain stuff so you know that it goes whiz, whoosh, boom, or spin, tingle, bing. Words can make you happy and make you want to sing. La! Sometimes words can make us cry. We all know what sort of, sort of words they are. You see, sometimes words can be like a deadly arrow that can pierce someone's heart, the little bit inside of them that makes them them. And some words can really hurt. Your words are power. Dun, dun, da! Your words can actually change the way someone's heart feels, the little bit inside of them that makes them them. If someone feels sad, your words can cheer them up. And if someone feels weak, your words can make them feel stronger. If someone wants to give up, your words can help them keep going. Make them giggle, make them grin, make them laugh out loud and roll around. Do you see what I mean? Your words are amazing and powerful. How about we all use our words to look after each other's hearts? The little bit inside of us that makes us us? Let's try together and see the difference it makes. Today, somebody's world can be a better place because of you. Doesn't that make your heart feel good? Oh, what a wonderful story. I wonder, how can you use your words to look after each other's hearts? How can you use your words to look after your heart? <laughs> Let's try together and see what difference it makes this week when you're at home or whether you're out playing. Let's just think about the words that we use, because remember, our words are really, really powerful.